Now today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate um, how to make your own electrodes. Actually it was a, a young woman in a, a treatment center that I was working at because I had been uh, making electrodes out of silver or copper wire. I was going to the hardware store, getting 10 feet of copper wire, stripping the plastic off the wire, cutting it into fine tiny little bits, whacking each electrode with a hammer three times, a beautiful electrode. A little bit laborious, labor intensive. And as I was exp explaining the woes of making these electrodes meditative as it was, she says, well, why don't you just use a hole punch? And sure enough, I went to the dollar store, got myself these big, uh, you know, oven trays, and it's a nice quality, thick grade of aluminum. And I got myself, actually, this is called this, you know, it's a swing, it's a typical thing you'd use in an office. And um, to make it a little more efficient, I used a chopstick, and I don't know if you can see the chopstick there, but I've just placed it in the backing of this device so I don't waste uh, aluminum. When I place the uh, aluminum tray in there and I'm chopping away, I get uh, very a little waste of the electrodes, aluminum. So let me just demonstrate how I do this. And anybody can do this. I don't care if you're in uh, Kathmandu or in, in Bombay, they've got aluminum is everywhere. And you can find a hole punch, whether it's this one or some other brand. And I just simply move along like this. And so I can whack these things out uh, by the hundreds within a very short period of time. And uh, sometimes I get a nice long piece, so I'll just whip along and get that entire row done. Then I simply take a, a pair of scissors and I, I cut off the uh, excess. And then you get the idea, then I start fresh, I do it again. And this is the end product. Beautiful aluminum electrodes which work very well for bioelectrode therapy. I go to a certain uh, metal supply store and I can buy uh, very thin sheets of pure 100% copper and again I can do the same process. Uh, by the square footage, first time I bought some I bought 12 square feet of uh, aluminum, sh or pardon me, copper sheeting and um, I would cut off about a square foot and then just do the same process. Just put it through and uh, creating these beautiful, inexpensive, copper and aluminum electrodes. And I'm just going to apply a simple silver electrode to triple warmer one. And there we go. Now, now just mobilize that elbow. You, you have to keep on probing around until you try to find every possible uh, okay. tender spot that corresponds to uh, the elbow. It's definitely not as tender. Like, I can't touch that without it being painful. And I can touch it now. Some people are concerned about the toxicity of aluminum, but again, it's a highly effective as being a conductor of uh, electricity, so it works well with copper. Aluminum electrode placed here and a copper on the opposite side foot, same name meridian, and bingo, you have the same equivalent results as you do with the uh, silver ink. And so far, nobody's ever, I haven't seen anybody who is allergic to aluminum. And uh, I haven't, um, I prefer silver, mind you, but uh, aluminum seems to work just fine when you're in a pinch.